Hey guys, Xana here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Ubuntu Linux 11.04 using a program called Wubi. Basically what this does, it installs it just like a normal EXE program. So let's get started. First off, what you want to do is go to Ubuntu's website, just uh, direct you. Alright, here's their homepage, here's 11.04, and what you want to do is press download and it gives you three separate options this one's just for a live CD this one's from a bootable CD slash um, uh, USB stick and here's where you download Wubi basically you click you download and here it is and then you double click and if you have any other Linux partitions you're gonna you have to install it if this is your second time and then here's where you get to choose your options. For me, I'm going to go all the way to the max. Give me one little second here. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, you choose your installation size. You choose which hard drive you want to set it on. And then you can choose various environments of Linux, starting from Ubuntu all the way to my Thumbuntu and Zubuntu. I don't know what the differences are. You guys tell me. Next, you choose your name, and then you choose your password. And then that's that. And once you're done, you press install, and it installs literally almost like a program. Now, it's going to have to download the ISO slash torrent of Ubuntu, so yeah, just press allow access to get it through your firewall, and then it should take care of itself. And I'll see you guys in about 12 minutes, because that's what it says to do. And after it gets done, I'll switch to my camera and show you what you do after. Alright guys, so we're done installing Ubuntu. Now all you have to do right after Wubi gets finished, and sorry for the distortion when I was recording with Cam Studio. I don't know what happened, but anyway, you've installed Wubi, you've set all your settings for Ubuntu, and now all you gotta do now is restart your computer. Click finish, and now it's restarting. Any day now. And see, after it gets done restarting, right when your uh, computer's manufacturer's logo pops up, it'll give you a boot choice of either Windows 7 or whatever other operating systems on your computer, and then there's Ubuntu. Like, for example, all you want to do is just press Enter. It'll do um, a couple of diagnostics. It's giving you a last chance, basically, to back out now. Waiting, waiting, there we go. There's the logo, and now it's loading. If I don't speak for a little bit, it means I'm texting. Alright, and there's the famous uh, Ubuntu background here. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Alright. And basically, it just skips every single one of the um, normal the normal installation screens that you normally see for Ubuntu. You know, the user registration and all that. You already did that within, within Wubi, so all it's doing now is just copying the rest of the files and getting itself to know your computer's hardware. Welcome to Ubuntu 11.04. Ubuntu is packed with features to make your computer delightful to use. This version introduces the Unity desktop interface, a brand new way to find and manage your applications. We'd like to show you some cool things about your operating system. Next, find even more software. The Ubuntu Software Center has thousands of new applications ready for your computer. Just type in or explore the categories like games, science, education, which is bullshit. It is simple to do, download new stuff, and write reviews and share your experiences. Next, have fun with your photos, like we all do that. Shotwell is a handy photo manager that is ready for your gadgets. Connect your camera or your phone to transfer photos, then it'll then it's easy to share them and keep them safe. 
if you're feeling creative, you can try lots of apps from the Ubuntu Software Center to edit them, kind of like Photoshop. Next, mobilize your digital life. And this is this program right here is new. It's called Ubuntu One. I've never really heard of it, but as far as I know, it's like one center where you can sync your phone and all that. Anyway, all about you, all you. Yeah, all Ubuntu users get free Ubuntu Sync accounts. Ubuntu One allows you to sync all kinds of files online. You can access them from anywhere. Sync bookmarks, contacts, music, pictures across your computer, and take everything with you with Ubuntu One, dear Bab. Take your music with you, too. Ubuntu comes with amazing, with the amazing Banshee player, with the advanced playback options, and the Ubuntu One Music Store built right in, also known as Amazon MP3, and it works great with CDs and portable music players, so you can enjoy all your music wherever you go, bub. Email and chat. Now, this is kind of the other reason why I got Ubuntu in the first place. Messaging menu has a lot of features to make com online communication effortless. Chat helps you log into all your instant messaging accounts, such as Windows Live, Jabber, Facebook. Your contacts appear in the same place ready to text or video chat. And it gives examples like Skype, email, and a plant I can't pronounce that I am Soul from the start the me menu is your instant connection to web services like Twitter and Facebook join set up your accounts to log in and share with your friends anything you sent to you appears in the messaging menu so you can reply when you want this is the other reason I got this for too Browse the web. Ubuntu comes built in with Mozilla Firefox. It's 6, even though 7 was just out, but you can upgrade it. You can also choose alternative web browsers. And as usual, you got to install Adobe Flash separate. And it's also advertising Chromium. Yes, it's Chromium, not Chrome. And here we go. Hmm. And it's restarting. No, that was not Colonel Panic, if anybody noticed. Again, Ubuntu. And this is where it's different. Gives you pink screen, gives you selection. What you want to do is choose the top one there. Ubuntu Linux 2. Point blah blah blah. And then it boots. Okay, here's the new login screen, which is kind of old. Now, if you excuse me, God, type in my password. So, do 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 do. Ah, you know what I hate the most. Operating systems, they don't have cap lock. No, wait, number lock automatically put in. Ubuntu! Just played this scene. Alright, so... Here it is. Ubuntu, seamlessly installed. And don't worry, your other operating system partition is completely untouched. Alright, so this is pretty much the end of my tutorial. And I'll see you guys later. And I'm actually going to try editing this video you're seeing right now with uh, one, what's it called? Open Shot, which is a free video editor. And I looked at it at school. It's pretty good. So I'm going to give that a try. See you guys later. Bye-bye.